when you are ready to begin your own article you should do it in the sandbox area in this clickable link at the top okay if I click on sandbox this is your personal draft space a personal play area it's not part of the live Wikipedia website so you won't you shouldn't worry about uh, anything including anything being included on this that you're not happy with this is just where you go to create pages and it says edit below this line so my new article so you can create a title for whatever your article is going to be created and put in an edit summary created a sandbox area save page okay so we've now got the sandbox created and instead of the source editor we're now going to use the visual editor and we can create our new article in exactly the same way that we created our user page splitting it up into headings having citations references and clickable links and once we've got about 250 words and about three references to back up what we're saying within our text then we and then and only then then should we think about taking that information and putting it onto Wikipedia so to do that you would need to do a search first of all so if you do a search for an article I know that Edward Bozudski doesn't have a article yet so but you do a search just to double check that you're not going to duplicate any work that's already existing on Wikipedia and here we see it's giving us a few choices Shomanka, Kilmorak, Gallery, Brian Irvin but it's also telling us that the article doesn't exist as yet and it's a red clickable link that's confirming that it's asking us if we want to create the page so when we're ready we'll click through to that and it says at the top creating Edward Bozudski and so we need to make sure that our article page is titled exactly as we want it to appear and it is a good idea to check on some of the articles like your where it says here Wikipedia your first article but you can also do a little search for Wikipedia article uh, titles and that gives you some help about how you should name your article but if you've done all that and you're ready to go just copy and paste from the article you created in sandbox in the same way that you created your user page paste it into the new area for example where it says Edward Bozudski now I imagine I have an article there about Edward Bozudski then when you're ready just type creating new page and hit save I'm not going to hit save because I'm not ready to create that page yet but once you've hit save there at that point your new page will be live and someone will come and check it over just to make sure it's uh, right or, or if there's something that needs doing to it um, but they'll also say well done great job okay, and it's important to note that when you're creating an article you have these two tabs create source that's using the old-fashioned source editor which is a, a little better about copy and pasting to and from or you've got create for the visual editor which is a lot more what we're used to from creating our user page 